Hey everybody, I've got something really cool to share with you today. If you're a Lightroom user, wouldn't it be awesome to be able to access your images in Lightroom from any computer or any device wherever you are in the world? Well, it turns out that you can. And if you're a subscriber to the Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Package and you have Lightroom Classic that way, you're actually already paying for it, but I bet a lot of people aren't doing this. So stick around and I'll show you how it works. Happy 2019. Actually, this is my second video of the new year, but I forgot to ring it in in the first one, which you can watch right here if you want. Uh, but anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to all of the great uh, tutorials and adventures that I hope to share with you this year. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tag the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new stuff when it comes out. Okay, now onto the task at hand setting up Lightroom so that you can access your images in Lightroom on any device or computer, wherever you are in the world. Now, why would you want to be able to do that? I don't know why you would, but I can tell you why I like to be able to do that. One is that I like to be able to have my images right on my phone. So wherever I am, I can share them with people. Sometimes when traveling, get uh, requests for submissions from clients or publishers and it's nice to be able to make those submissions and not miss a job because i had to wait a couple days or weeks or however long it's going to be until i'm back in the office and can access those images on my computer i also find that it's much more uh, spontaneous if i can share images online social media or whatever uh, if i can do it from anywhere i don't have to wait till i get back to my office to access my images and i think it's also a good use of time you know if i'm waiting at the doctor's office or standing in line in the dmv or stuck in traffic somewhere or sitting in an airport and if i can get on a device and you know edit some images or go through and flag and rate and do other things with my images yeah it's a good use of time so those are some some examples of why you might want to be able to do this in the past if i wanted to take my images from my Lightroom catalog along with me on a trip, I would have to generate smart previews and then take my Lightroom catalog and all of the smart previews and put them onto an external hard drive and then take that hard drive with me as I traveled. And even then, I still only had access to those images if I had my laptop open and could access my laptop. It still wasn't available on my phone or my iPad or anything else. But now there are two versions of Lightroom. There's Lightroom Classic, which used to be Lightroom CC, but now it's called Lightroom Classic. That's the original Lightroom. And there's the new Lightroom CC, which is actually the mobile version of Lightroom. So it's a little confusing, but Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. And if you have the photography Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, which gives you Photoshop and Lightroom Classic, it also gives you Lightroom CC and 20 gigabytes of storage in the cloud and you can use Lightroom Classic in combination with Lightroom CC to do all those things I said before. When Lightroom CC, the new mobile version of Lightroom came out, I really didn't see how I would use it. It just seemed like a, a detuned version of Lightroom Classic that you had on your phone. And I figured it was great for people who mostly do phone photography, but not really someone who's doing uh, photography with other cameras and doing my editing on a desktop computer. Didn't really see where uh, it would work for me. And uh, also it just didn't have a lot of the features that Lightroom Classic has that I use all the time, like the slideshow feature, the print module, uh, the mapping module, and things like photo merge, and also the ability to create a catalog that mirrors the catalog on my main computer. But when I learned that you could link up Lightroom Classic with Lightroom CC, to be able to access images from Lightroom anywhere in the world on any device. Now that's something that I can use and uh, it's pretty easy to do. So I'll show you how to do it. First, if you haven't already, go to the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app and install Lightroom CC on any computer where you'd like to have access to it. If you wanna access your images in Lightroom on your phone or tablet, then go to the app store and search for Lightroom CC and install the app from there. 
On any computer that you install Lightroom CC on, as long as you're logged into your Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app, you should also be logged into Lightroom CC. On your phone or tablet, you'll probably need to enter your Adobe login credentials to access the apps in those locations. Now you can come back on your main computer, come back to Lightroom Classic, and you can go to Preferences, and just take a look at that to make sure that you're logged into your Adobe account there. And as long as you're logged into your Adobe Creative Cloud account, you should be logged in here. And now you can go up to the badge at the top here. Mine is customized, but yours probably just says Lightroom. And you can click on the down arrow and verify that you're set up to sync with Lightroom CC. And if you're not, you can just click right here to turn sync on. Now, in the library module, if you come down below your catalog to your collections, you can sync any collection to Lightroom CC. I have a bunch of collections, but right now only this one, Lightroom CC Sync, is synced and you can tell because of the little sync icon that is next to it. You can sync any collection that you want to by clicking the little sync icon that's next to the collection. And as soon as you do that, Lightroom Classic will start syncing that collection to Lightroom CC. If you uncheck that sync icon, then it will remove the collection and all the images from the cloud and they will no longer show up in Lightroom CC. This collection that I have synced to my Lightroom CC contains all of the images in my catalog that are labeled either yellow or red. In my system, my red labeled images are my top tier images and my yellow labeled images are my second tier images. Most of these are layered TIFF files that I have edited in Photoshop, but some are also just raw files that have only been edited in Lightroom Classic. To create this collection, it was easy. In Lightroom Classic, I just filtered my entire catalog for all my red and yellow labeled images, and then I put them into the collection. Then I clicked the sync icon to sync them to Lightroom CC. So that collection contains 6,500 images and all of them have been synced across to Lightroom CC. I can now view, edit, and share all 6,500 of those images from anywhere. My phone, my laptop, my tablet, someone else's computer if they have Lightroom CC installed and I log into it with my credentials, and so on. But what has synced to Lightroom CC are not the original images, they're actually just smart previews of my images. And you can tell by clicking on any image and then going down here to the info menu, and we can see that right here it tells me that locally it's a smart preview here in Lightroom CC, and out in the cloud it's also a smart preview only. Smart previews can be edited in Lightroom CC using all of the Lightroom adjustments and they're large enough for sharing on the web and even printing up to maybe as big as 12 by 18. And that's big enough for most magazines and calendars. But they only take up about 2% of the space of the original RAW file and maybe only a tenth of a percent of the space of a layered TIFF file. That's why those 6,500 images only take up three gigabytes of my Creative Cloud storage space. Any edits that I make here in Lightroom CC will sync up back to the original files back in Lightroom Classic on my main computer. So in addition to creating a collection of my best images to be able to access through Lightroom CC, I can also create collections of any grouping of images. For example, let's say I had some raw image files that I wanted to sort through and do some basic Lightroom edits on while I was traveling. I could select some images that I wanted to be able to do that with. And then I could create a new collection uh, let's just call this one raw edits and I want to include those photos that I just selected and I do want to sync it with Lightroom CC. So I'll go ahead and create that folder and here's my new raw edits collection. It's only got three images in it but you can see that it is being synced to Lightroom CC and on each image, you can also see that icon that shows that it's an image that's synced to Lightroom CC. 
And now when I come over to Lightroom CC, in just a matter of seconds, of course it depends on how fast your internet connection is, that new collection, which is called an album here in Lightroom CC, shows up and there are those raw files that I can now work on and make edits to. And then those edits will sync up back to Lightroom Classic. So they're there waiting for me when I get back to the office. And in this way, you can create and sync any collection of images from your Lightroom Classic catalog at any time. And the 20 gigabytes of storage that you're already getting with your Adobe Photography subscription allows you to sync many thousands of images to Lightroom CC. Now this is just how I use Lightroom CC. It is possible to sync your entire catalog and even have your original files all uploaded to the cloud, but there's a different approach and a different method that you have to use to be able to do that. That's not what I'm doing, but there are some videos here on YouTube. I'll link to them in the description below if you'd like to see how other people might be using this, uh, this functionality to house their complete catalog. I think it all works amazingly well and gives a purpose and value to Lightroom CC that I didn't appreciate when it first launched. However, I have run across a few things that could be better and hopefully Adobe will address these in the future. As you saw, you can sync collections, which Lightroom CC calls albums, but you can't sync actual folders from Lightroom. So for example, up here in my Lightroom catalog, I can't sync any of my actual folders of images and it would be nice to be able to do that. Also, keywords don't update after your original sync. So if you add new keywords to already synced images in either Lightroom Classic or Lightroom CC, those keywords don't update to the other platform the way that your adjustments do. It turns out that your title and captions, if you update those either in Classic or Lightroom CC, they do update across platforms. So I don't know why the keywords don't and it would be really nice if they did. I guess as long as you don't put too many images in an album or a collection, then finding images in Lightroom CC isn't too bad. But if you have an album that has 6,500 images like I do, then trying to locate images in there when all the images maybe aren't keyworded could be challenging. I wish now that I had made sure that all 6,500 images had all the keywords they needed before I had synced it over to Lightroom CC. I guess I assumed that if I continued keywording back in Lightroom Classic, those keywords would update over to Lightroom CC, but they don't. Star ratings do sync back and forth from Classic to CC. So if I were to give this a one star rating here in Lightroom CC, then back in Lightroom Classic, that same image would eventually show that one star rating. And back here in Lightroom Classic, if I unstarred that image, then back in Lightroom CC, in a few seconds, that star will be removed. So here in Lightroom CC, you can filter by star ratings as well as flag status, whether it's an image or a video clip. You can filter by keywords, the camera that took the image, the location, if you have location information in it, the sync status, if it's synced or not synced, and also it can identify the people in the images. But there's no option for the colored labels that I like to use in Lightroom Classic. So all of those colored labels that I use to separate out my first tier and second tier images here in Classic aren't available to me in Lightroom CC. And I really like the colored labels because as I'm scrolling through my catalog, they're much easier to see and quickly identify than the star ratings. Also, if you're working from Lightroom Classic as your primary Lightroom catalog like I am, then it'll only sync smart previews and there's not a way to force it to upload an original file to the cloud. You can go into Lightroom CC on your computer and add image files from your computer to Lightroom CC. When you add an image to Lightroom CC this way, whether it's a new image or an image that's already included as a smart preview, it will then upload the original to the cloud so you can access the original file in Lightroom CC anywhere. Now, this isn't a big deal to me since I don't usually need access to my original files outside my office, 
but it would be nice if I could choose to upload an original file right from Lightroom Classic if I wanted to. And there's one other thing worth mentioning about the Lightroom CC app. I didn't show it at all, but in addition to everything I already covered, the Lightroom CC app on your phone is probably the best photography app available out there. So you can take images with your phone. It gives you full manual controls over your phone camera and the ability to capture DNG RAW files plus HDR, long exposures, do depth masking, and it gives you the full range of Lightroom adjustments for developing your phone pics. Maybe all that is a topic for a future video. Okay, so let's recap. To set this up, go to the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app or the app store in your device, your phone or your tablet or whatever, and install the Lightroom CC app to any place that you wanna be able to access your images. Then log in to any of the apps that you need to log into. Then come back to Lightroom Classic and make sure that you're set up to sync with Lightroom CC. Then click the little sync icon next to any collection in Lightroom Classic that you wanna sync over to Lightroom CC. And you can create new collections and sync them to Lightroom CC anytime you want. And once you've done all that, now you can edit, view, uh, caption, title, rate, uh, open in Photoshop, share to social media, email, text. You can do all that with those images anywhere you are. In my opinion, the 20 gigabytes of storage that you get with your subscription and this ability to access your images anywhere through Lightroom CC is really a huge added value to your Adobe subscription, but I bet it's something that a lot of Lightroom users and Adobe CC subscribers aren't taking advantage of. So give it a try, set it up, and then go forth into the world with all of your images along in your pocket. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that's useful. Remember to subscribe and tag the bell and I'll see you again soon.